we can, and then we roll over it in the next lecture, whatever we don't get to. So, um, of the two electrical factors that we've been discussing, right, uh, milliamperage time as well as KVP, we did MAS, that's got the effect on beam intensity, it controls uh, brightness density, it's our main control for brightness density on our radiographs. This next one, K KVP, kilovoltage peak or kilovoltage potential, also abbreviated uh, kilo electron volts, KEV, or just KV, kilovolts, they all mean the same thing. So you see KVP, KEV, KV, or somebody says kilovoltage, we're all saying the same thing, okay? Um, good, so it's a measure of the electrical force. So think about it, right? You've got some electrons that you wanna turn their energy into X-rays. You can either push them slowly or you can push them fast, okay? And we can change how fast we're pushing them, the force with which we're pushing them. That's the KVP. More force means the electrons move faster in the X-ray tube, which means we make more energetic X-rays. Less force, lower voltage, less, X, less energetic X-rays. Still making the same amount of them, right, to some extent, but we're changing their energy. That's the idea with KVP is it's adjusting the beam's energy, the X-ray beam's energy. And we will learn and have learned that beam energy, X-ray beam energy set by KV is the primary controlling factor for uh, subject contrast before the image gets to the computer, right? So the thing that we do to control contrast before any computers are involved is the KVP primarily. Um, KVP control is set in the cons er, in, in the um, in, in the hardware, the, the equipment, by something called an auto transformer. Transformers, if you remember, are uh, electrical devices that change voltage, right? It's all, oh, Ohm's law went away. Remember Ohm's law? Voltage equals amperage times resistance, V equals IR. It's all to do with that, right? It's electromagnetic induction and Ohm's law, all put together in one concept. We can adjust voltage by adjusting the settings through this thing called an auto transformer. Transformers change power, voltage. Mass controls quantity, KVP controls quality. That's a great one-liner to hang on to. Mass controls quantity, KVP controls quality. Energy, if you like. This little graph represents the waveform, the alternating current, AC current waveform that our um, devices produce. You know that we rectify alternating current to make it like more like direct current, but the point is, is not that here. The point here is to show you x-axis horizontal axis going through time, vertical axis showing you um, voltage or energy, and as some pulse of electricity begins, you start with zero energy, you go all the way to maximum voltage, peak KV. So if you set 80 KV on your equipment, that's your peak kilovoltage, the peak energy. You won't have any x-rays in the beam that have more than 80 KV if you set 80, okay? That's your beam energy. That's your peak energy, rather. But on average, if you take the average, notice that the, you only get to peak energy right at the top of that curve, right where my laser pointer is sitting, right? Most of the time, those electrons are either speeding up or they're slowing down, okay? So on average, for an 80 kV setting, this is why it's important to talk about generators, which I'm not getting to today, but on average, for this type of generator, you would end up with an average voltage that's about one-third of what you actually set. So that means if you set 80 kV, your average beam energy is about 27 kV. So if you pluck down an average photon from the primary beam, on average it'll have about 27 kV worth of energy. Your beam has an average energy as well as a peak energy. When you set kV on the control panel, you're setting the peak energy, not the average. Okay. Small other side note, depending on your generator, your peak average, your, sorry, your peak energy and average energy can actually get very close together and almost be identical. Okay, on um, if you remember from the talk about generators, the uh, high frequency generators, the um, high frequency or the the multi-phase generators. Remember three-phase, six-pulse, those ideas, right? 
those different types of generators will give an average energy that is much, much closer to the um, peak energy. So for example, in uh, like a three phase six pulse, I think it's like 91 or 93% of the peak energy is your average, right? So if your peak is 100, then your average is like 91 kV, right? Your peak gets very peak and average get closer together with more efficient generators. On a machine like we have in our x-ray room, what's called a single phase generator, um, single phase full wave generator, you get beam energies that on average are only about a third of what you set. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. 80 kV setting on my machine and an 80 kV setting at MedStop Urgent Care are different things. Okay, MedStop Urgent Care has a high frequency generator for their x-ray machine. I've got a single phase generator for mine. My peak energy is, is 80, their peak energy is 80, but my average set at 80 is 27, okay, kV. Their average set at 80 is basically 80, okay, it's like 79 and change, okay. The point is that the generator type will affect the average beam energy, not the peak energy though. The peak energy, if you set 80, that's your peak, okay. You never get anything higher than that, but you get everything from that, from zero to that. 